Welcome to the Tokyo Tokimeki channel. I'm your host, Yoshinari. Today, I'll be introducing 10 must-visit tourist spots in Tokyo that even I, as a Japanese local, would love to visit. First up is Asakusa, a representative tourist destination of Tokyo's traditional downtown area. Asakusa is known as the heart of Tokyo's Old Town. One of its most famous attractions is Sensoji Temple and the Nakami Street leading to it. This charming shopping street stretches about 250 meters from Kaminarimon Gate to Hozomon Gate and is lined with lovely shops. Asakusa is also a food lover's paradise. You can find a variety of traditional Japanese cuisine such as soba, buckwheat noodles, tempura, monjayaki, savory pancake, sukiyaki, hot pot, dojo, loach, dishes, and even Western food. There are so many long-established specialty restaurants that you can't possibly try them all in one day. For souvenirs, you can find traditional toys like marbles, kendama, cup and ball game, and ohajiki, glass pieces, as well as folk crafts, wind chimes, and fans. It's a great place to enjoy shopping for unique items. Don't miss Asakusa Hanayashiki, Japan's oldest amusement park, which is also very popular. If you want to experience the bustling charm of old Edo, Asakusa is the place to visit. If you're overwhelmed by the number of places to visit in Asakusa, you can use the recommended smartphone app 365 ASA Kusa, available for iOS and Android, offered by the Asakusa Tourism Federation. With the custom walk feature, you can select the places you want to visit in Asakusa, and the app will suggest the best route for you. For more details, check the description below the video. Next, the second spot is Tokyo's new symbol, Tokyo Skytree and Tokyo Solamachi. Tokyo Skytree, standing at a height of 634 meters, is the tallest freestanding broadcasting tower in the world, a title it still holds as of December 2020. From the Tembo deck at 350 meters above ground, you can get a panoramic view of Tokyo, and on clear days, you might even see Mount Fuji. At the base of Tokyo Skytree, there is a shopping complex called Tokyo Solamachi, which houses over 300 shops. This attracts numerous tourists from both Japan and abroad. Other attractions include a planetarium called Tenku and the Sumida Aquarium, both of which offer plenty of fun and interesting activities. Sumida Aquarium features a large tank that replicates the sea around the Ogasawara Islands, a massive pool-type tank with playful penguins, and several jellyfish tanks, making it a must-see. You can also take impressive photos of Tokyo Skytree from its base, so be sure to give it a try. For more details, check the description below the video. The third spot is Ryogoku Kokugikan, the sacred ground for martial arts, where you can also learn about the history of sumo. When it comes to sumo, Ryogoku Kokugikan is the most famous venue. During the Grand Sumo tournaments, you can watch live sumo matches. The intense clashes between the wrestlers and the electrifying atmosphere in the arena are truly amazing. There's also a sumo museum on the first floor where you can see actual sumo belts, referee uniforms, and handprints and autographs of sumo wrestlers. Ryogoku Kokugikan isn't just for sumo. You can also watch professional wrestling and boxing matches, making it a must visit for martial arts fans. For lunch, enjoy Changpo Nabe, sumo stew, at a restaurant near Ryogoku Station, and then check out the sumo ring at the Edo Noren Commercial Facility, which is directly connected to Ryogoku Station. This way, you can fully experience Ryogoku. For more details, check the description below the video. The fourth spot is Amiyoko Shopping Street, always bustling with energy. Stretching from Ueno Station to Okachimachi Station, this historic shopping street has been around since shortly after World War II. Along its approximately 500 meter length, there are about 400 shops. Here you can find a variety of goods such as gourmet food, souvenirs, cosmetics, accessories, and clothing, all sold at reasonable prices, making it a paradise for shopping enthusiasts. Additionally, there are plenty of street food options to enjoy, so you can taste a variety of flavors. If you want to avoid the crowds, visiting on a weekday morning is recommended. This is when the shops are just starting to open, so you can shop at a more leisurely pace. Access is convenient with many trains available, but since the exit and station you use will affect where you arrive, it's a good idea to check which train and exit to use in advance. For more details, check the description below the video. The fifth spot is the National Museum of Western Art, a national museum specializing in Western art. 
This is the only national museum in Japan dedicated to Western art, displaying works from the Middle Ages to the 20th century throughout the year. In 2007, the museum was designated as an important cultural property of Japan, and in July 2016, it was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The building itself is a valuable architectural work by Le Corbusier. In the front yard, you can find notable sculptures such as Auguste Rodin's The Gates of Hell and The Thinker, large version, making it a must-see spot. The National Museum of Western Art, located in Ueno Park, offers a serene and impressive atmosphere. Why not spend a relaxing time here? The sixth spot is Ueno Zoo, Japan's oldest zoo, which was the first in Japan to receive pandas from China. Ueno Zoo, established in 1882, is the oldest zoo in Japan, as of July 2022. It is famous for being the first zoo in Japan to welcome giant pandas from China in 1972, commemorating the normalization of diplomatic relations between Japan and China. Pandas remain incredibly popular, and in September 2020, a new area called Panda Forest was added in the West Garden, in addition to the Panda House in the East Garden, allowing visitors to see more pandas. Other animals are also displayed in environments that replicate their natural habitats. You can see polar bears swimming underwater and bears hibernating, among other fascinating sights. With about 300 species and 3,000 animals, as of July 31st, 2022, there is a wide variety of animals to meet. Be sure to visit and enjoy your time at Ueno Zoo. The seventh spot is Ueno Park, famous for cherry blossom viewing and home to numerous cultural facilities. Have you heard of Ueno Park? It's been a popular spot for cherry blossom viewing since the Edo period. The cherry blossom season lasts for about two months and you can enjoy various types of cherry blossoms from early blooming to late blooming varieties. In late July, the lotus flowers in Shinobazu Pond also reach their peak, offering a beautiful sight comparable to the cherry blossoms. Within the park, there are many facilities such as the National Museum of Nature and Science, Ueno Zoo, and the Tokyo National Museum. There are also unique spots like Shinobazu Pond, Ueno Daibutsu, Great Buddha, and the Masaoka Shiki Memorial Baseball Stadium, making it an interesting place to explore. If you get tired from walking, you can relax at a cafe or check out the museum shops inside the park. The eighth spot is Tokyo Station, a symbolic representation of Tokyo's past and present. Have you heard of Tokyo Station? It opened in December 1914. The famous red brick exterior is a faithful recreation of its original appearance. There are many attractions inside the station. For example, there's the Tokyo Station Gallery, an art museum that utilizes the exposed brick walls of the station, creating a unique atmosphere. There's also the Tokyo Station Hotel, which has been around for over 100 years alongside the station building. Inside the ticket gates, there's a large shopping complex called Grandsta Tokyo, which has about 151 shops as of December 2020. It's so extensive that you can't explore it all in one day. Tokyo Station is a perfect spot to learn about Tokyo's past and present. The ninth spot is Kabukiza, the sacred ground of Kabuki, loved throughout the ages. Have you heard of Kabukiza? It has survived fires and wars and was newly rebuilt in April 2013. While kabuki performances are held in various places in Japan, such as Osaka, Nagoya, Kyoto, and Fukuoka, Kabukiza is the only place where you can see kabuki almost every day of the year. Additionally, the building is directly connected to Higashi Ginza Station via the basement level 2, making it very convenient for dining and souvenir shopping. In the first floor lobby, there's a recreation of the designs created during the opening of the fourth Kabukiza, so be sure to check it out when you visit. The tenth and final spot is Odaiba Seaside Park and Daiba Park, where you can enjoy the city nightscape. Have you heard of Odaiba Seaside Park? It was created using a bay area surrounded by the old breakwater and Daiba Park. The beautiful sandy beach, about 800 meters long, is very impressive. From evening to night, you can enjoy the illuminated Rainbow Bridge and Tokyo Tower. Additionally, there are various marine sports available, as well as areas for fishing, tide pooling, and beach activities, making it a great place for different activities. Nearby, there's the Aqua City Odaiba Shopping Mall, where you can not only enjoy shopping, but also have a luxurious dinner while taking in the night view of Odaiba. Be sure to visit. Thank you so much for watching until the end. On this channel, we will continue to share information from a Japanese perspective for foreigners who want to visit Japan or those who love Japan. 
If you're interested in Japan, please subscribe to our channel. We also look forward to your comments and requests in the comment section. Thank you.